All right, a little herb there. Hmm? You just do a little herb. I smoked a cigarette. That's just not herb. Not yet. It's too early in the day. You're uh, stinky cigarette guy. Yeah, here we go. Hey, I'm Bo Blaze. And I'm Chris Park, and welcome to Stand Up Comedy Talk. Where we introduce you to our favorite stand up sets, both old and new. First up, one of my favorite comics working today, Ali Wong and her breakout hit, Baby Cobra. I love Ali Wong. Yeah, she's great. She's no, I'm, I mean, I, I love Ali Wong. Like, right. in a not really healthy... Well, well. well, you know, you have to love a seven and a half month pregnant wobbling comic. Sort of like a weeble. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's rare to see a female comic perform pregnant. Last one might have been uh, Joan Rivers on the Ed Sullivan Show. Yep, back in the 60s, that's right. Do you even know what a weeble is? No, I don't, even, I don't even know what the Ed Sullivan Show is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, look at me and Weeble. The Weebles waddle, but they don't fall down. Romperoo makes Weeble toys. But Ollie is no gimmick. When she was in New York City back in the day, she was doing up to nine sets of stand-up every night. She is a true comedian who paid her dues. My husband is unfortunately just not as freaky as me. When I've asked him to spank me, Oh, you are right. You know I respect you. I know you respect me, and that's why you need to abuse me. <laughs> we just want to experience some risk. I don't want to die, but I also don't want to be sure that I'm going to live. <laughs> She's like a tiny terror with no filter saying whatever needs to be said. <laughs> and just to show you the power of Netflix, before she did Baby Cobra, she was a writer for ABC's Fresh Off the Boat. They had to put tickets on Groupon for one show in her hometown. Soon after the special aired, she sold out five shows at that same place in just minutes. Yeah, I love how animated she gets and how intense her buildup to her punchlines can get. You know, almost a little scary sometimes. <laughs> like, <laughs> but she does have a lot of important things to say. She does really push, you know, the envelope on certain issues like miscarriages. Last year, I had a miscarriage. And I wish more women would talk about it so they wouldn't feel so bad when they go through it. When I told my mom, she's from a third world country. Where I'm from, that's like losing a pair of shoes. Don't feel bad, okay? They were the size of poppy seeds. I've picked boogers larger than the twins that I lost. You know, that really hits home for me because my mother had two miscarriages before she had me. Right. She couldn't have had three, huh? Third time's the charm. <laughs> Our next stand-up is Tom Segura's Disgraceful. You may also know him from his popular podcast that he hosts with his wife, comedian Christina Pizitsky. Piz Pizitsky, I yes. think that's it. Right? Pizitsky. Yes. Called your mom's house. Whose mom's house? Your mom's house. My mom. They call it my mom's house. Your mom's house. Oh, Jesus. Yep. Segura just always comes off as a regular laid-back dude. I love his ability to just start off really slow with a joke, and then bam, just hit you with a hard punchline that comes out of left field. My favorite bit here is when he talks about how we can no longer use the word midget anymore. Don't say midget. Well... Can't we say, like, the M-word? M-word, but what does M-word mean? I don't know. Yeah. Like, just keep going. Okay. You can't say midget? God damn it. Well, Tom, what can we still say? <laughs> White racial slurs. Cracker, Mick, Kraut, Polak, Frog, Guinea, Wop, Honky. Say them all you want. And if you're not white, are you saying that I can say those? That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> Call up your Italian friend tomorrow and be like, hey, you fucking guinea. And he'll go, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> the word honky is hilarious. It's like this great indicator to know if someone's racist. If next time there's some like racial fight in the news, they'll find some hillbilly. Well, he called me a honky. And they're like, and did you pass out from laughing hysterically or what happened next? No, I stabbed him. And you're like, oh shit. <laughs> Honky is hilarious. I love how real this guy can get, and it's so true. No one gets offended by honky, at least no one that's not a hillbilly. <laughs> I love comics who try to push the envelope with language, which is what Segura does in his own silly way all the time. Hilarious as it may be, though, I'm pretty sure that Tom Segura is really Ethan Suppley from the TV show My Name is Earl. What? Think about it. Have we ever seen them together? Has Ethan ever been on one of Segura's specials? Was Segura ever in an episode of My Name is Earl? 
you know, Bo, there were a lot of people who weren't in uh, either of those things. Mm, yes. Okay. Anyway, I love Tom or Ethan. He has an extremely unique delivery that I love. In an interview, he said once that he does a lot of social commentary. He also said that besides the social commentary, then there was a lot of silliness. I think that sums him up just perfectly, and it's right up my alley. Our last video for today is going to be Ricky Gervais and his new special, Humanity. Is it Humanity or Hue? Like, like the Hue? Hue, like a Hue. Hue. Gervais is a writer, actor, comedian, producer, director, and a singer, although I've never heard him sing. <laughs> Nor I. I really like this special. I love Gervais's attitude, how he just scoffs at the overly sensitive and just tells them to move along if they don't like what they hear. I love what Ricky had to say about Twitter. And that's what the world is like. People take everything personally. I think the world revolves around them, right? Particularly on Twitter. I'm just tweeting, because I don't know who's following me. They can be following me without me knowing, right? choose to read my tweet and then take that personally. That's like going into a town square and there's a notice, guitar lessons, and you go, but I don't fucking want guitar lessons. <laughs> there's a number here, all right, call that, right? <laughs> Are you giving me guitar lessons? Yeah, I don't fucking want any. <laughs> I hardly use Twitter myself. I think it's a complete cesspool, no matter what you say. And you know, most social media in general is pretty terrible, but Twitter is pretty much like the angry little man's network. Who could you be talking about? Oh, I don't know. Oh. Oh. Anyway. But the world is getting worse, and I blame the beginning of its demise on social media. That's where this ridiculous notion that it was more important to be popular than right. Oh, I don't agree with them, so I'd block them, right? People don't care about the argument. It's ludicrous. It also bred this ridiculous notion, my opinion is worth as much as your opinion. But now we've got my opinion is worth as much as your fact. I get tweets from people saying, well, I believe the Earth is 6,000 years old. Well, I believe you're a fucking idiot then. Right? I love Ricky Gervais. He is what I call an important teller of truth. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen his movie, The Invention of Lying, but it is a brilliant commentary on religion and society. So definitely check out The Invention of Lying. Ricky is a comedian who's often accused of going too far. I believe that there is no too far. If you don't like it, turn it off. Comedians have to be able to say whatever they want. That's a comedian's job. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you liked this one, please hit the like button and please leave a comment. Let us know which comedians you want us to talk about on the show. Uh, wow. Maybe we'll do them. That was bad. Yeah. No, no matter how hard I try, I can't do Christopher Walken. Wow. Wow. No matter how hard you try, he, you might, we might do them. Hey, and if you comment below, we might even do them. That's not good. No? No. And hey, if you comment below, maybe we'll do them. Now you Seinfeld. I should be able to do it. I don't know what country Christopher exactly. Walken comes from. I'll do Christopher Walken in various different ethnicities. Hello, I am Christopher Walken. I'm going to tell you to please Hit the subscribe button. Oi, I'm Christopher Walken. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> How about, so please hit the subscribe button if you have a moment. <laughs> that would be if he was a Jew. Oi! Well, how about an, That's old, an old Yeah, Jew how about guy. an older he Jew? Just... Oi, let me tell you, if you hit the subscribe button, <laughs> You'll do a wonderful thing, you will, I think. Sadly, that might <laughs> be my best, best Christopher Walken. Walken. It's my best Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken with an old Jewish man. Happy cheese, sunny. Oh, oh. Hit, the, <laughs> hit the subscribe button. And you know why this is all okay? Because we're honkies. Yeah. And we can make fun of other honkies. And he's Jewish. Well, I'll part. Part Jewish. I'm yeah. a lot. I'm Italian. I'm Jewish. I'm German. I'm, I'm also Korean. <laughs> you know that? My last name's Park. So, oh, yeah. is that why you deliver Chinese food in your yeah. spare time? No, that's racist. No, that's true. Yeah, no. no, it's true. You Korea do, and China. Do you deliver Chinese food? No, but food. that's not why uh -huh. I deliver Chinese That's not why uh -huh. I deliver Chinese food. That's you're, racist, bro. I'm not saying that's that racist. that's why, but I'm saying you, you do. You said that. We do go to the tape. you or we do you? We can go to the tape. Excuse me, Your Honor. <laughs> Please 
Can I can I treat him as a hostile witness? <laughs> do you or do you not deliver food for I a Chinese do restaurant? Deliver but Chinese here's the food. thing, you are not Chinese. I'm not, I'm Korean. You're and not you Korean though. Because yes I am. You are? No, I'm not. <laughs> We laugh, ready? Yeah. Ha ha ha! And then you go say, final video for today. I like to brush my hair. I like my long, luxurious Please long. do. Okay. You look like a slob. Yeah, I don't like you. Yeah. And a huge manatee. I did a song once like that. It sounds like it. Was, it. it was, uh, I don't want to hear it. It was right for a <laughs> That's fine, but now do it again and not forget two lines.